Well, there has been talk on NSSF and this has brought a discussion on the saving culture and pension in Kenya. And I would like to have that discussion today with Mr. Fred Waswa. You are the founder and group CEO of Octagon. Did I, did I get that right? Sorry. Octagon Africa Financial Services. Excellent. And we were just having that discussion because I had a story earlier on that was talking about uh, Kipra's report. Uh, on the living state of um, Kenyans because of the high cost of living. Now, during high cost of living, a lot of times people want to find out uh, where can I cut my costs? Where should I spend less? Uh, is this time to cut on savings and pension? Not at all. Not at all. Mm -hmm. uh, thank you very much, India. One of the items, one of the, uh, the reasons why people save yes. is not necessarily for short term. Yes. It's supposed to be a long term saving. Mm -hmm. Pension is where you save today and in the next 30 years you are able to access a monthly pension in terms of monthly income uh, to replace what you are earning today. So what happens is that um, if the economy shrinks like the way it has done or what we are going through today what it means, it means that we simply need to look for how do we um, put in assets that then can generate for us better return, yes. better returns. Yes. Because at the end of the day, uh, this, the saving is not necessarily a whole pick of some of your money, mm -hmm. maybe 10%, yes. maybe 15% yes. towards pension. Yes. So it should, it's not the right time for one to think about reducing saving mm. uh, uh, because the economy is, uh, is, is, is in a challenge. Yes. yes. Well, which brings me to the question, even as you know, people are trying to figure out what to do during these difficult times, how important is, is saving and especially when it comes to pension? Very important, mm. very important. Uh, the reason is that um, when we are working today, Cynthia, we are getting an income. And when you get that income, that income you don't get it for life. Uh, because at that time, T, uh, when you are tired, the, the organization will say, thank you very much. Yes. And uh, are you no longer going to work for me? Then what happens is that you fall off payroll. So when you fall off payroll, what replaces payroll? You know, at age 61, at age 62, and sometimes we live at age 90. So the question is for 30 years plus, what are we going to live on? And that's why we, we normally encourage people that today's income should be saved for tomorrow's uh, pension. Yes. So you should always look at it and say, whatever you're doing, even if you're not, even you're not in a formal employment, mm -hmm. you are running a business. Part of that income that you get from the business should be saved for a, a day that you'll not be able to run your business. Yes. yes. And would you say that um, our country has uh, different uh, plans for saving that would make it quite interesting for our growing market with even different uh, demands, especially after COVID? Absolutely. Um, we, we may not have as, um, as uh, very robust or quite a number of various, uh, various uh, pl uh, savings plans, like let's say, for example, the UK or US markets. But I think comparing to other African countries, I think we are doing much, much better. Mm -hmm. uh, the the, the, the refunding of or the re reorganization of NSSF has even made much better opportunity for saving for people who did not have an opportunity for, sa for saving. Because previously, NSSF would only save 400 shillings or yes. 200 employer and 200 employer, so which wasn't very sufficient for somebody to be able to get a pension. But now that NSF has been opened up and one is able to save what called tier one and tier two, then it helps you to save more in a term and benefit plan. But over and above that, organizations like ourselves, we have we run what we call personal pension plans. Mm -hmm. So where one can walk in, you can log into our system, be able to join and you are able to save and you can be able to stop, you can increase, you can, you can start. So it it gives you the flexibility in terms of saving. If you are a small medium enterprises, which basically are the ones running or driving the economies of this of countries in Africa, is that um, we have schemes like the umbrella funds. You know, umbrella funds are for small medium enterprises. They don't have to set up their own scheme because it's like, expensive. But you can join an umbrella fund, an existing umbrella fund, and your employees can save in that umbrella fund and get the similar benefits, tax benefits. You can get in, in investment income in that very particular pension fund until you retire and you get a pension at retirement. Yes, I'm 